In this video, we're gonna cover how to get notifications from Facebook every time we get a new lead. So stay tuned. Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. If you run Facebook marketing campaigns in the past, specifically lead generation campaigns, you've been both excited and disappointed all, to, all at the same time. So you've been excited from the perspective and the functionality of having a landing page within Facebook so you don't have to go out and get a third-party software of landing page generate generators or having a lead capturing uh, lead capturing page on your website or anything outside of Facebook. So you've been excited from that standpoint because it's been easier and a bit more, it's been simpler, it really has. However, you've been disappointed in the fact that there is not a notification feature on Facebook every time you get a new lead. So whenever you're getting a lead, you don't necessarily know that you just got it. So outside of checking into your account and your ads manager to let you know that you received a lead. So today we're gonna cover how to fix that. Today we're gonna actually fix that. If you have not heard of Zapier, it is a good time to hear about it. Zapier connects has connects thousands upon thousands of software with each other so they can communicate and there's automated tasks that get created within within Zapier, not within Zapier, are get, they get facilitated through Zapier. So if you go to Facebook, you, you can see the types of integrations that are possible. If you select Facebook, specifically the lead ads, there's different types of, different types of Facebook, so as you can see, a Facebook offline conversions, Facebook pages, there's automated tools that Zapier provides, you see you see the possible integrations through Facebook leads, meaning you can send an email, which is what we're doing, and we're going to use that as a notification for us, or you can, you can send it to your Google Sheets, MailChimp, which is an email autoresponder, HubSpot, which does email autoresponder and is a CRM. And you can go to Active Campaign, which is again another email autoresponder. So there are different functionalities, but for our purposes, we just want <clears throat> to be notified whenever a new lead comes in. Now, if you're interested in email drip campaigns and how to how they work and how to actually create them, there's other videos in this channel that specifically address to that. For our purposes, we want just that notification that we received a lead. So we're gonna create a zap. We're gonna select Facebook leads ads. So as you typically you would have depending dependent on the first trigger point that you select or the, the app that you select or the software that you select, you're gonna have different options here, but specifically with Facebook leads, you only have one. So every time a new lead comes in, which makes sense. Now, I connected a ton early, early on when I first found Zapier and I did that needlessly. So that's why you see so many different attached to it, but know that you only need one integration. All right, here's what drives everything. You're gonna select the page that you ran your leads campaign on. Again, we're talking about this campaign. This is really the only, not really, this is the only part that we're talking about. This is the only campaign that we're talking about to pull the leads from. This is the only one that has a actual landing page within Facebook that you can use. And what's important is that you remember which page you ran 
that lead campaign on. If you have multiple pages, that's where it becomes a little bit trickier and you have to be very, very detailed in remembering where you ran that campaign on. If you're only running campaigns on one page, then it makes no difference. You know that that's going to be your one campaign. So for our purposes, the one that I'm trying to connect right now, I ran through Echo Real Estate Advisors. And the form that I created was Arlington Mansfield. As you can see, there's different forms that I've been running. So that's, a, so that's why naming it is very important and naming it with such a detail to where you remember what you, what page and what form and what self, what lead man that you provided is very important. Now you're going to click continue. I'm going to skip this step. I'm going to go with continual default sample because at this point Zapier has gotten so good. I trust it. You can pull in samples, but considering that's a new campaign for me, I'm not going to have samples. So I just go ahead and, and skip it and know that very rarely does it mess up. So I'm taking my, my chances, which again, aren't really chances as I know it works. Then I go to Gmail and then I select do I want to create a draft every time I get a new email, um, it, every time I get a new lead, so then I can press send myself, or do I just want to receive the email, uh, an email notification from Facebook, or do I want to send an email in an automated way every time a new lead comes in from Facebook? I'm going to put send email. Then I select which email. This is where you decide, this is where, not where you decide, this is where you get, this is where you either send it to yourself or you send an email to the actual lead. You can, or you can send it to your virtual assistant or to your assistant or to other team members. This is where you do it. Every time a lead comes in, you've already made that connection with Facebook. So what you're telling Facebook is, Hey, once I get a lead, I want you to send it to, and that's where you put it. For me, I want it to just give me a notification as I already have this directly integrated with my CRM, which is Lion Desk, and I'm already delivering on my lead magnet, whatever I promised them, which is a home seller cheat sheet. So I don't need to do anything beyond that. From this perspective, I just want a notification. Whenever I put this, this email into Zapier, it's a static field. It's not a live field, so know that. If you wanted to email the actual people, your, the people that submitted their information and became a lead for you, then you would click on the plus button over here and you would select that email, which is a live email. And again, that, that makes more sense if you just want to send them a quick thank you or if you wanted to deliver on your lead magnet or whatever the case may be, if you wanted to actually email them, then that's where you would do it because this is a live field and whatever they input as their email, that's what they're receiving. And if you were doing that, then you would either put yourself as a CC, a carbon copy or a blind co carbon copy. For my purposes, again, it's a notification. So I'm not going to do that. And then from, I would select my email from name from myself. Since this is coming directly from myself and it's not coming from an info at anything else, then I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, Hey, email somebody else which that's what you would be doing. If you were, if you were connected to an info at echorealadvisors.com, if you wanted them to reply to you personally, that's where you, this is where you would put it. And on the subject, again, you can put a live field. Every time you see a button over here, you have the opportunity to put an actual live field. But since I'm only asking for the name, the phone number, and the email, it doesn't make sense for me to put anything live in this subject line 
because I'm not going to put their name, I'm not going to put their phone number, and I'm not going to put their email on the sub subject line. So I'm going to put Arlington Lead, which is the, where this campaign is running, Home Seller Cheat Sheet, which inform, informs me what I promised them as a lead magnet, and then where it came from. So it came from the Facebook lead, which I don't have too many of these. I don't have too many of these types of campaigns running. So I, in my mind, already know. But if I wanted to pass it on to my assistant or anything else like that, then that, that's where it becomes more valuable. And in the body, again, since this is a notification to me, I just want their email, their full name, and phone number to be sent to me in the body. That way, I know where it came from, I know what I promised them, and I have all their information. This way I can quickly email them or call them if I wanted to reach out to them in this capacity. For my purposes, I would just be calling them because I, again, I already have my email drip campaign set up through LionDesk which is my CRM. If you want to see how to do that, there's another video on this channel that'll, that'll, that'll walk you through that. But for my purposes, I just want this phone number because this serves as a notification that I received an email and I want to reach out to them as quickly as possible. If you were actually delivering on what you promised them, then this body, the body of the email, would have a little bit more substance, which I highly suggest you keep it as a plain type versus an HTML as it's going to help with your deliverability. Then if you wanted to go into a specific folder, this is where you would do that. And if you wanted to deliver on the file or provide the lead magnet via a URL, depending on which systems you have, if you want a free version, then you go to your Google Sheets, create the lead magnet that you've promised, Get that shareable link and make sure that it's public to everybody, not private to your domain or not private to you. Or essentially, it's, you're not. It's not secure. It's just more acts. It's public to whoever has the link. You would insert the link here in the in this field, and it would it would be live for somebody to retrieve that information, that lead magnet that you promised them, and that's how you deliver on your lead magnet. Now this is where you we can test, which it'll say it'll deliver in about a minute. It takes much less than that. I'm gonna go over here. And there you go. So ho hopefully you can see this. You have this, the subject line that you manually input. It came to my personal email or my business email. It has the name. I'm sorry, it has the email first, it has the name, and then it has the phone number. This is dummy information as we pulled it from from Zapier and and Facebook. So we know that it's working. I'm gonna press finish. I'm gonna name my zap. Arlington Lead. Home seller. And then I'm going to put the type of connection that we just did. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go over to our dashboard. And there it is. All right, so again, depending on if you've run, most importantly, if you've run a campaign before and have done a lead generation campaign, you know the importance of doing this. If you haven't, now you know whenever you're running a lead campaign, Facebook is not going to give you a notification that you have leads. So that's common. The only way that you can receive or retrieve the actual leads is going to a desktop or a laptop and download a CSV. You can't check on the actual lead 
you can see if a lead came in, but you can't retrieve the lead information from your app or the Facebook Ads Manager app, you have to log in and retrieve it that way. So whenever you're clicking through your campaign, through your ad set, and then through your ad, you would click on the download leads form and you'd have to download it via CSV, which depending if you're mobile uh, all day and you, can't, and you don't have access to your computer or your laptop readily, this is gonna be very valuable to you because Whenever a lead campaign, you're not you're not subject to having to log in. You receive that email notification right off the bat, or you're delivering on that lead magnet that you promised them. So that is how you do that direct integration between Facebook and your email. If there's any questions, please, as always, feel free to reach out, like, comment, subscribe, and share with any real estate agent out there that you think may benefit. See you in the next video.